are here uh, in the middle of the woods in Mississippi. This is our afternoon dedication on day 19, Pablo of Across America 2011. I mean, look at this. God knows when this bridge was built, it looks very old. Uh, you can see it's going over a river. Uh, we don't know what the river is. I mean, we are literally in the middle of the woods. We came from that direction over there. Uh, we came, literally the, the, the dirt is so deep, we all had to get off our bikes and walk it because, uh, you know, our, our tires are not made to go through this stuff. This is literally the kind of um, red clay dirt that you used to see Bo and Luke Duke flying around on in the General Lee. I mean, it's like we're not far from Georgia. It's a little bit more clay-esque there than it is here. But, I mean, dudes, this is OG right here. This is like Marquette and Joliet, you know, whoever, Pierre Marquette, all those dudes. Um, our afternoon dedication um, goes out to two kids today. Uh, the first one is to a little boy named Remington who was diagnosed with uh, stage one Wilms tumor in September of 2010 at seven months old. Uh, he and his family live in West Jordan, Utah, and he's one year old now. Um, he is... Uh, through, he's through his treatment. He uh, loves to do, I say this every day, he loves to do all the things kids love to do. He loves to play, he loves to hit a ball around, he loves to dance, he loves to go camping. He would love it here. I mean, I'm sure you can camp anywhere near here. And uh, his parents say something very simple, which is that he's just an amazing little kid. Uh, our second dedication today uh, from the woods is to a little boy named Maximus, who was diagnosed with uh, stage three rhabdomyosarcoma at four months old. He's now two years old. Uh, he's from Hamilton, Ontario, up in, uh, in Canada. That's, that's right outside of Toronto. And uh, he's seven months off treatment, and he's 13 months cancer-free right now. Uh, he's growing quickly and learning many th new things like any two-year-old should, is what his parents tell us. And, and um, it's great to hear that any kid who's who's uh, involved in cancer treatment is is growing quickly, their hair is coming back, and they're back to playing and running around and they have that unbridled energy, um, which is what um, kids are supposed to have. Um, the thing about chemotherapy is that it literally destroys uh, fast growing, fast duplicating uh, cells in the body. That's what cancer is. They're disruptive, discordant, um, rapid duplicating cells and so for me as a layman when I hear that a, that a child is growing and their hair is coming back um, it makes me very happy um, so we are here we are we are upholding our pledge to everybody who's donated a penny or more to us we are upholding our pledge to all of you even if you haven't donated and certainly we are honoring um, kids that we've uh, dedicated our ride to today, this afternoon, uh, every day in the past. We just heard a cow mooing somewhere in the distance. Um, we are here. We are um, 18 riders strong this week, uh, which means that uh, Brian Pettit and I, who are standing here shooting this video, there's 16 riders waiting for us up the road. And um, this is hard riding, but this is fun riding. And we are... Um, we are embodying just a little bit the struggle that cancer kids go through where they have to face whatever road is in front of them every day no matter what their parents do, their siblings do, their friends do. Uh, I know because I am a cancer parent. And my son Pablo uh, got on his bike, so to speak, and rode no matter what. And that's what we do here. So we'll uh, check in with you tonight from the hotel in um, Laurel, Mississippi. Bye.